Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and in today's video, I'll be presenting you guys my Subtlety Rogue PvP guide for the patch of 715. The patch brought a few changes for Subtlety Rogues, most of which are small adjustments, but I don't really think it impacts the spec in major ways. The changes are more an improvement to what most people already knew when it comes to subtlety and your experience with it, but I will be covering everything you need to know in order to start PvPing as a Subtlety Rogue in Legion. First, let's cover all the subtle shadow changes. One of the better changes that we got is a flat 9% increase to most of our damage and abilities, so you will notice the subtlety hits slightly harder in this patch. Master of Subtlety Talent no longer lasts as long as it used to, its duration now got cut down to 5 seconds, which is not a terrible nerf for PvP. Master of Shadows now gives you 25 energy instead of 30, which is not enough of a nerf to notice, especially in PvP situations. Deeper Strat got nerfed so Vigor is the best option for level 45 talents. Speaking about talents, let's cover Subtlety Rogue talents that you'll need to have in order to start PvP. Master of Subtlety gives you 10% more damage increase during stealth, shadow dance, and for 6 seconds afterwards. This gives you solid damage increase and you benefit from it basically all the time since your playstyle revolves around shadow dances. Subterfuge extends the duration of your Shadow Dance, which is amazing for subtlety. Vigor gives you more energy to play around with, which translates into flexibility for damage output and CC chains, best option in the tree. Elusiveness ends up being the best defensive talent in the tree, since the darkness can work for 1v1 situations, but for the most part Elusiveness is the best option in terms of actually coming up with defensives. Prey on the Weak offers subtlety the ability to lock down targets and make them more vulnerable to damage. Since your damage is all about lineups of CC chains, this talent ends up being the best option. Premeditation is the best for subtlety, lots of comp point generation means more finisher spending. Spending finishers helps you refresh stacks of Shadow Dance, so this talent is the best in the tree. Master of Shadows is still the best in the tree as well, the energy gain from Shadow Dance and Stealth is still amazing when it comes to managing energy and common points, and it's much easier to play around when it comes to damage output. Now let's cover the Honor Talents for Subtlety Rogue. Gladiator's Medallion is probably still the best for most of you. If you are an Orc, however, then Relentless is a solid option. If you are Alliance and you are a human player, then you might want to consider adaptation for some PvP situations. Reinforced Armory is the best for this tier unless you're going against melee cleaves or if melee generally bother you. Maneuverability is the best in the next tier, but Cut to the Chase is fun if you're versing against other rogues, barrels, and any class with movement speed increases. Shadow Scarrez gives you cooldown reduction for many of your spells, but Smoke Bomb can work in some arena situations where you're trying to score a kill without cross CC. The next tier is hard to tell. Cold Blood is an awesome talent and can be used on targets in openers or when targets are about to die. It can be used on enemies that are trying to use defenses before death and Cold Blood deals percentage damage to help you bypass most of the defenses. Dagger in the Dark gives you more sustained damage however for Shadow Strikes, almost increasing every Shadow Strike hit between 10-20% to 20 damage per hit. It is difficult to tell whether it is best to go with Cold Blood or Dagger in the Dark as I see many high rate of players swap around between those two talents. So this choice is primarily up to you as the player. Venom Assassin is, in my personal opinion, the best option in the tier. Longer duration for Shadow Dance it means you get more spells out during Shadow Dance and more uses of Shadow Strikes, which are the majority of your damage. Subtlety Rogues are all about strong sustained damage, strong damage over time damage, lots of control, great mobility, and being able to line up kills for friendly targets. Generally, as a Subtlety Rogue, you want to spend as much time in Shadow Dance when dealing damage, which gives you the ability to use stealth-based abilities anytime you need them. Shadow Strike is your main way of dealing damage. Use Cheap Shot to lock down targets, stopping them from moving, casting spells, using defensives or offensives. Dot your enemies with Nightblade and maintain Nightblade as much as possible. Use Eviscerate to deal burst damage when you do not need to apply Nightblade on your enemies. Generate Calm Points and spend them. Every time you invest Calm Points into a finisher, you shave off a few seconds of your Shadow Dance stacks, so keep generating Calm Points but also keep spending them. But make sure to be aware and watch out because sometimes your auto attacks grant you random Calm Points. Being able to watch your energy, combo points, and shadow dance cooldowns closely is something a lot of people have a hard time monitoring as a subtlety rogue. But if you're perfect at being able to monitor the things properly and be able to react to any of the energy gains or combo point gains along the way, 
and being able to use them properly in terms of finisher damage, then you'll be able to improve indefinitely as a subtlety rogue in PvP. I would have to say that openers for subtlety are really easy to cover ever since the Legion prune. As of Legion, you don't really have a lot of abilities to play around with when it comes to different openers. You can either open up with a Shadow Strike into a Cheap Shot to close in on the enemy if you are far away. But if you're near the target, open up with a Cheap Shot into a Shadow Strike, so you kind of just reverse those two. You want to make sure to get Nightblade up as soon as possible on the enemy, which will slow them but also deal damage over time damage on them. From there, pop Shadow Dance and alternate Shadow Strikes and Cheap Shot to make sure you're stun locking the target while hitting them with Shadow Strikes. Spend common points into eviscerates and refresh knife blade when it's about to fall off. Objectively, Subtlety's playstyle in terms of your abilities is pretty spammy. There isn't a whole lot of variety in terms of abilities that you end up using, but it's a powerful playstyle, it is effective, it has a lot of mobility and control, and while on one hand one player might find it easy, there is a little bit of depth to it that another player will definitely be able to persevere in. But from playing Subtlety, you will find some moments of depth. One of those moments of death has to go with your artifact weapon, Trait of Finality. Every time you use a Nightblade or an Eviscerate, your secondary Nightblade or Eviscerate will be able to deal more damage to an enemy. So if you let's say use a Nightblade with full common points, you will deal more damage in your secondary Nightblade. It also affects based on your common points, so let's say you only use two common points for a Nightblade, your next Nightblade won't be as powerful. So being able to manage your combo points, manage your finishers, manage your finality, energy, shadow dance stacks is everything a subtle tool will need to be able to know on top of being able to crowd control the enemies properly and execute your rotation in an orderly fashion. So while the spec might not seem like it has a lot of abilities to play around with and a lot of people might find it to be less of variety, there is definitely depth to the spec and not every subtle tool rogue can learn how to play the spec to its full potential. As a subtlety rogue, I like to prioritize stunning the enemy rather than getting more shadow strikes in there. So when it comes to team based situations, I'll sometimes pull my energy and I'll wait for my first cheap shot to run out before stunning the enemy with a second cheap shot. One of the questions that I get quite often is when do you cheap shot and when do you use kidney shot? Usually I use cheap shot on the kill target or the target that I'm going to be focusing on for most cases and then I spend common points to CC a secondary target. A good rogue will be able to alternate those two abilities for various situations. Sometimes you'll have the energy to cheap shot an enemy and sometimes you won't but you will have enough combo points to get in a kidney shot. Sometimes enemies need to be CC'd and sometimes you'll need to lock down to kill a target. So being able to practice your CC and alternating your CC is the best way of going about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you found this video very useful to you in terms of learning how to play subtlety rogue in PvP. The spec is a bit challenging to describe and put on words into, into a video in order to give you guys the most amount of information that I am able to provide. I will be making subtle to rogues videos in the future, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't to make sure to catch up to any future subtle to rogue content. And if you guys have any particular questions on subtle to rogues, feel free to voice them in the comments below. And if they are popular enough of a question, let's say many of you guys have a question with subtlety, then I'll make a video on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope everybody's having a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.